we're sailing along the Exuma Islands, located smack dab in the middle of the Bahamas. Maybe if I show you, it'll work better. Today, we're gonna make a pit stop in a popular anchorage. Rock You're always table. worried about what I'm doing. The captain and I have a little moment. I got two warm milk bagel sausage. Saw our friend sticker, Bacchus, before going on shore. Island style. Just like to take a nice hot shower. Looks like we have no hot water. Yeah, this happens. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. What did you hear? And we'll take you through finding an issue, troubleshooting it, and then fixing it. Let's do it. Boat maintenance at its finest. <laughs> You're half naked, ready to shower, and it goes wrong. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Good morning. We've weighed anchor and are raising the head sail for a nice downwind sail to Staniel Key, located in the central Exuma Islands. The starboard engine uses more fuel than the port because that's where the generator feeds from. So since we have some wind, um, I still want to continue charging batteries, so I'm going to leave the port engine on and I'm going to shut the starboard down. Just slowly bring it down to idle. All right, we're in neutral now, and then I'll let that cool down for a couple minutes, and then I'll secure it. And we're running a few things down below. Ice maker, charging the iridium. We're also uh, making water, which uses uh, like 10 amps, but if I can use it while I'm running the engine, that's, you know, that doesn't come out of my battery bank at all. What a lovely sail today. A light breeze with calm, following seas. The captain usually takes the helm for the day sails. That allows me to take care of the boat. It's all about that teamwork, baby. And then I've kind of just like laid out our clothes, the ones that haven't dried around the boat. His shirts are horrible for drying. It's been days and they're still not fully dry. I keep telling him you need like better boat shirts, but he really likes cotton shirts. So he kind of just sticks with them, but when we go back to the States, I am getting him better boat shirts because this is crazy. I think I'm on day three, I am, of trying to dry his shirts. But in his defense, it's been rainy and muggy and humid. So the sun would just come out, which it is right now. But I can't hang them while we're underway like this. Um, it would dry them. And I'm totally one of those that has to make my bed every single day. Like you move on a boat and you're like, why would you make your bed? Like nobody's coming, nobody would know, but I feel like I can't start my day until the bed's made, so. Hey baby. Hello. Oh, I got music playing. That's so sweet. Got me some fish oil and everything. And then I will go ahead and take my breakfast. With the arriving of Stan, Stanley at 10. Have you checked the wings for tomorrow? I've checked them at some point. They're all pretty much the same. 
We're trying to plan our trip back to the States and the forecast is still a little windy, so we'll make a stop at Staniel Key. Oh, Stanley's a great option because we have trash to get rid of. I'd like to get some fresh fruit and vegetables if I can. And um, we can fill up our jerry cans with diesel and get gas for the dinghy. So great little pit stop. I'm just pairing our headsets. Well, maybe if I show you it'll work better. Blinking, blinking. And now a long hold, long hold. Release, release. Ah, it worked. They're paired, so when that goes blue, the light, like that, they're paired. Get mine on. Sometimes you gotta push the microphone in so you can hear each other talk. Couple of anchorages, and uh, one that's full of mega yachts and jet skis and stuff like that. And we like jet skis, just not when they circle the boat over and over. So, um, there's another spot right in front of Stadium P, but there's a lot of cats sitting over there, like a lot. It's not huge, so we're gonna just do a drive by. If we can't find a spot, we'll just come over here. But if we can find a spot, we're gonna snag it. I'll head to the bow and see if I can help him from there figure out a good spot. Sometimes grabbing an anchorage takes some planning. This is a very popular spot and it's pretty full. There's a larger anchorage further away, but let's try to squeeze Calypso in. We decided to enter from the north, navigating right between the grottos themselves. I stood at the bow and watched for rocks or anything else we could hit. It looked good, so we were off to find a spot to drop the hook. This water is so clear. We found a pretty decent spot towards the rear of the anchorage, so we went up and dropped the hook. When anchoring by other boats, we like to come up in a staggered formation, then drop the anchor just as our bow is approaching their stern. Then we back away as we let chain out. This technique creates room for everyone to swing without hitting each other. You happy with this? Yeah, nice job. Yeah, the, going through those islands was pretty cool. That's right, when you told me, don't worry well, about filming. Yeah, I mean, you're always low. worried about what I'm doing. Well, no, it's not that. It's that, you know, it's. Oh, our stupid engines. So, Yacht Commander. Copy, Channel 1 Copy, Channel 1 We don't really know. There's a lot of rocks under there. We're going right between the grottos. The winds and currents going with us, so it's pushing us. And then you got these, like, you got that one tender who's they're backing up, not looking where they're going. They're in reverse, dropping divers in the water. Like you know, in the channel. Yeah. And um, so it's like you have to be like, excuse me, we're coming through. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What he doesn't realize, or he does realize, is those are the best moments to film. Yeah. Which is it? Do I not, or do I realize? Not uh, sure. Yeah. No, and you know, it, yeah, those are the exciting times. But I just don't want to hurt somebody. I don't want to wreck the boat. Whatever. You know what we need to do? What? Get a sponsorship. Oh, oh for what? the freaking cables. Yeah, that's a great idea. We should seriously contact them now. Yeah, Volvo Penta. And ask for a sponsorship. We hate these. I hear it all the way up there. Wow. Yeah, that shakes the whole boat. It's insane. So we need And now to when get... I put the engine in reverse, it drops the engine down the stalling, so I have to like jam it up through uh, throttle. It's like woo, and it's uh, it's not good. Yeah, it's crazy. It's literally every time we operate the boat, we are now having issues. We can't go back out and cruise until we get it fixed. I know. We're back at Staniel Key. We're going to drop some trash, probably have a couple beers tonight, and then continue on tomorrow once the winds chill. I would rather do Day drinking like lunch there. That sounds great. Day and drinking dinner. is wonderful. Lots of options in here. We've gone ashore and hiked to this great little store located on Staniel Key. What did you think of that? It was great. A lot of like cool stuff. They had some like 
vanilla Oreos in there. Reese and I were eyeballing. Mommy said no because they were nine dollars. <laughs> so we can make some cookies at home. But we can't make those cookies. <laughs> you can't make those cookies. Take a look at my goodie bag. Yeah. Did you guys see that cockroach? No. You mean <laughs> not cockroach? You mean you mean rooster? Rooster. <laughs> so what did we spend? Fifty-seven dollars. Yeah. I got two warm milks, bagels, sausage, bananas, tomatoes, a Gatorade for the boys. I know you guys want that. Thank you. Coffee. You wanted some coffee, right? Yeah. Expensive, but yeah. we got food. Yeah, that's great. And now we're off. I think we're walking by the police station. Oh, is this the police station? I think so. How'd you like that store, son? Yeah, I just want, I just want a piece of that Gatorade. All right, here, Mom. Here you go. The boys are hot. I couldn't turn down a cold Gatorade. So it was probably like a quarter mile walk to the store. Stanley Key is pretty popular for uh, cruisers and chartering. People that are uh, chartering like mega yachts out of Nassau are coming here. And then they all have, you know, head up to the bar and stuff like that. So it's pretty sweet. It's a great spot to throw out your trash, get some groceries, grab yeah. some Wi Fi. Throwing your trash out is huge. Play pool, yeah. Throwing your trash out is huge because. You know, you don't, you know, it just accumulates. Calypso is right over there at anchor, sitting pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of boats here. It kind of feels like all the catamarans went over here. It's shallow over here. Yeah. There's two spots. This is, that's like right outside the yacht club. And the other side of that land over there is uh, the Pig Beach. And that's another anchorage over there. The shopping was done. We were headed back to the dinghy and then back aboard Calypso. Who is that, Reese? Roxon? Yeah. What's Roxon doing here? I don't know. He goes here at the motocross races. Yeah, man. He must be on vacation. Yeah. The dinghy dock. Yeah. There's more of a dinghy beach here. Yeah. Who's your favorite motocross rider? Roxon. Roxon. Reese is a Roxon fan. And Tomac. I, I have two hats. I have two hats. One's Roxon and I like it. Reese, you want to grab the anchor? Yeah, it is. One of Reese's responsibilities is pulling up the dinghy anchor. Oh. Nice job. Reese has become the anchor man. That is one of his responsibilities. Super easy to get gas here for your dinghy, so we are going to do that. Change of plans. We forgot that we needed gas for the dinghy. Oh, uh, no, you're thanks. Much. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, all right. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, thank you. After a quick fill up, we decided to head back with a pit stop at the beach bar. That's pretty funny. See Lyle and Cheryl sticker in this thing. How much gas did you get? Two point something and it was eleven fifty. Very nice. Yeah. So we were over there getting gas and saw our friend's sticker, Bacchus. Really good friends of ours. They're actually patrons of ours. They've been patrons of ours since the beginning. Six years and we've become the best of friends. Makes us feel a little closer to them right now. They're between boats. They're going from a sailing catamaran to probably a power catamaran. I'm excited for them to get back out here. Oh. How is that thing? Got a brain freeze? No, I got a chest freeze. <laughs> <laughs> My chest is just like, is it the same full? The same full? Is it that cold? Nice, let me see. Go ahead. Hopefully it's a virgin one. Yeah. Day drinking, island style. The Staniel Key Yacht Club is definitely on the don't miss list. We relaxed a bit and then headed back to Calypso. Just went to take a nice hot shower after the afternoon at the Yacht Club. Looks like we have no hot water. No, we have hot water. I'm like, honey, water's not hot. He's like, oh, yes, it is. Do this and this. Nothing came out. So now he's checking it right over there. He thinks the hot water tank shit itself. So it looks like we're going to take cold bohemian showers from here on out. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That just means I have to shower a little bit earlier in the day when I'm sweltering hot. Or uh, you have to take it on the outside oh i'll do that that, that sounds like fun 
Yeah, but replacing this thing doesn't seem like fun. There he goes. Yeah, so this is hot all the way up. Turn it on. You get nada. But if I bring it down just a little bit, turn it on. You get water flow, but it's cold. It's yeah. been doing this a couple days in a row, and I keep I kept telling Jeremiah, but Every time he go to check it, it was like a slow fail. It, he never caught it. So it's definitely um, slowly going. The way this thing works is like the water's going in it and you know, when you turn on the hot, it should accept it out. It's just stopping. It goes to two areas, up there and then here, and it obviously isn't moving any further. So my dilemma is, do I take a cold shower in my nice private shower or do I take a hot shower in my nice public shower? I'm gonna go take a hot shower in my public shower. Hey, can you turn off the hot the water? Actually, I can do it here. Maybe this valve over here failed. But that'd be weird. I'm gonna get on this. Boat maintenance at its finest. You're half naked, ready to shower, and goes wrong. But that's boat maintenance at its finest. I'll just hang here and hold the camera and hope for a hot shower. If not, I'm okay with that too. I don't mind a cold shower, especially when it's warm outside. It doesn't bother me. working out yeah that's how it is that's how it's been did you hear that mm -hmm. what did you hear the water pump running no. oh i hear it sounds like a cat something's building pressure and stopping turn that back off and then turn it on nothing nothing what thing the water pump and the, the water heater. Oh, not another thing. Yeah, we're really starting to pile a list over here. This is like the fourth thing now. We can shower on our stern, or we can take a cool shower when it's hot out. This can all be fixed. It's just building a list, and I have to deal with this list. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. We'll take a small, the captain is sick of crap breaking break before we get more into the issue. This is a little check valve. Basically you could release the pressure from the water heater at the bottom. I've removed it, but to test it, I can hook it up. You see down here? Mm -hmm. Now watch. I'm not gonna hook it up to the water heater, but I'm gonna hook it up to the water. Can okay. you see this down here where my thumb is? Mm -hmm. Watch. See, that's our problem. Yeah. So it's stopping the water from going into the water heater. The hot water heater is fine. I have to figure out how to clean this thing out. <laughs> or get the one off the other side and put it on this one. So it's clogged. That's what you come yeah, up it's, with. Yeah, it's probably clogged. What we're gonna do is we've diagnosed that. So I'm just gonna take the same valve that's on the port side and I'm gonna can it and put it on the starboard side. Everything looks like it's the same. I'm gonna pull this one off, see if we can fix this issue. And then I'll put the other one on this one, just so it's at least a, a solid system. Okay, this is the other one. Okay, let's go try to put this on. It's running. Just because the way it's put together, um, you know, I can't tighten it all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some thread sealing on here and then try to just get the best I can without a water leak and then I'll have to redo this when we get back to the stage. But it's just this little bit of an angle, this because, you know, whatever. Um, it worked though. Yeah, it works. We have hot water. Yeah. Well, thank you for fixing it. I haven't fixed it yet. You are. Thank you, I'm proud of you. You did a good job. Thanks, you just needed a minute to think about it. Yeah. You deserve lots of Foot rubs. No, no, no. That valve is probably something simple I can just order online. And when we get to the States, get it, and then I'll probably get 
I'll replace that one and I'll probably get one or two spares too. Perfect. They say you should open that valve often. I read open that valve often just to keep, you know, calcium out of there. So that's something I'll probably start doing. Oh, you learned something new. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. How's the shower? Great. Very warm. Oh good, mine was freezing cold. Yeah. I'm sorry, you wanna retake it? No, I'm good. I don't mind taking a cold shower. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm hard over. You got some burned buns there. A different size bracket on here. Oh. Are you ready for this? Oh man, my arm is killing me. I'm the um, boat chef. Did you know that? No. <laughs> We've known them since the beginning. You look like a professional. Thanks, I'm completely not. Propane system working, thank you. Is that prop damaged? Yeah. Let's go practice. A couple of these, but... Are we all set? I don't know. The Annapolis Boat Show. There we go, I can do this. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.